Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Casual Comic Collector. Um, today I've got an uh, unwrapping an overview video of the Infinity War Omnibus, um, which came out not too long ago. Um, so this book came out um, kind of around the time, I think Marvel's trying to capitalize on the whole uh, Avengers Endgame movie being in the theaters, so this is the third sort of Infinity Gauntlet slash Thanos related omnibus that was released recently um, sort of alongside uh, the Infinity Omnibus by Starlin and Hickman um, and the Thanos Wars omnibus um, so and then with the Infinity War omnibus those three sort of came out not too long ago all in one go um, so this book here um, also uh, is probably the biggest of the lot um, because it collects a whole host of things, which I'll show you in a second. But um, let's get the um, let's get the wrapper off, and then we'll have a look at what's what's inside. Right. So that's the um, that's the front cover of the book. That's the um, the spine, and that's the uh, the back of the book. So basically, so I mean, it collects um, the Infinity War miniseries episode, uh, issues one through six, um, and to be honest, it collects a ton of other um, issues, which I'm not really going to go through here. But you can pause the video if you want to have a closer look at what what is actually included in the book. Um, and it has a cover price of 125 US dollars. Right. So let's have a look under the dust jacket. So that's the uh, front of the book, the side, and then the back. So it's got a bit of a wraparound cover. I can have a quick look to see what that looks like. That's pretty cool. I always like a good wraparound cover. Alright, um, actually before we get into the book, um, I'll just give you a, a look at what the, um, the binding of the book looks like. Um, so this is obviously quite a, um, a thick book, so it's important that the binding is solid enough to um, to hold it all together. It's a sewn binding, I mean it's sort of Marvel's standard uh, quality which is quite good, um, and even for a big book like this one you don't get much gutter loss at all. In fact you, I mean you'll get a little bit compared to sort of a thinner book, but generally speaking you can see right to the middle of the pages. Um, and I think a good test of it as well is if the pages hold open um, at the front and the back, um, and they do, because uh, usually what you get particularly with bigger books like this is the pages will just be flipping over. Um, they won't stay open because the binding is so tight um, that they'll flip the pages um, over before you can even um, get a chance to hang on to them and on the back as well it stays open which is good right so let's um, let's have a look inside see what what's in the book um, so basically the infinity war uh, storyline um, follows um, so sort of the immediate aftermath of the Infinity Gauntlet um, story, um, and well, in this one you can see Thanos um, is still alive and well, um, but has been defeated. Um, and basically, what follows in this storyline is that the the Gauntlet, or at least there is a new bad guy in town which is this guy called Magus, um, who I think is sort of the evil version of Adam Warlock. And I think the basic premise of the story is that Magus creates 
uh, doppelgangers for all the superheroes in the Marvel Universe. And the Infinity War is basically all the heroes fighting their doppelganger versions. You've got Superman and his doppelganger. Um, so I think the main storyline is obviously the main event. And I think all the other issues included in this um, book will be the individual stories where each of the heroes are fighting their own doppelgangers. And you've got the thing versus his doppelganger. I think. I mean, I think this was. I mean, the the Infinity Gauntlet storyline was such a successful run in the '90s that it felt inevitable that they would um, follow it up with something. You've got evil Wolverine, and yeah, by all accounts, this was a popular run as well, Evil Moon Knight. So, I mean, I think, oh, and also to say, in in the Infinity War, Thanos actually fights with the good guys. So it's, uh, yeah, tables have turned somewhat. But, I mean, I think it was, it was a fun run. And the cool thing about this book is it literally includes every single tie-in uh, to the main event. So if you want to know everything that happened in Infinity War, it is included in this book. So, um... That's a nice that's a nice thing. You don't have to hunt around for any of the other sort of side issues and tie-ins. But yeah, I mean it's you know, popular run from the nineties. And yeah, I mean good fun read. To be honest, I think I mean there are literally no extras at the end because I think the book is already so full of the actual issues included that they really didn't have any space left for any extras. So um, I guess it's fair enough. Focusing on the main story, not too much to add. But yeah, I mean, to be honest, really big book, good collection. Um, Ties in nicely with the Infinity Gauntlet Omnibus if you've got it. Um, I think it is a fun read. Um, so, uh, and if you like, you know, Marvel Comics from the 90s, this is one of the sort of iconic uh, storylines. So I think, uh, yeah, be good read, good fun. Um, but that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it. I've got more videos coming up soon. Um, but that's it for now. See you soon.